the brain comes equipped to say a word without having to have conscious awareness of each individual sound. But when you're going to use the alphabet principle and code that word with letters, then you do have to have conscious awareness of the sounds. You can learn to talk relatively well without becoming that phonologically aware, without really needing to break the sounds down in your mind. It's only when you hit reading that you must become aware that words are made up of smaller units. We know that it takes initially a clear understanding that the language we hear is composed of smaller sounds. These are called phony, smallest unit of sound. And people say, sure, you know, cat has three sounds, cat. And I can ask people all the time how many sounds they hear in big or cat, and they'll say three, cat, big. But they don't. You don't hear three sounds in cat. I don't hear three sounds in cat. Our kids never get any practice with the sounds in cat because nature has given us an oral language that allows us to communicate rapidly so that when I say cat, I don't say ka What the hell is a ka What I say is cat. And the minute I start to say cat, the a and the t sound co-articulate or bundle together and come by the ear as one pulse of sound. Phoneme awareness is much more difficult because you don't hear the sounds. And the brain has to pull from that one verbal or acoustic bundle the three sounds because the ear won't. The ear never hears the individual sounds unless we spell them out. Children um, may have implicit experiences with phonemic awareness when their parents read nursery rhymes to them. And so Peter Bryant, for example, has argued that nursery rhymes are the, are the genesis of phonemic awareness. It's, that's the beginning place that children might naturally begin to shift to language play. And certainly doing uh, pig Latin, for example, might be something that you would naturally play with language. But not many children necessarily do that. And so we have to provide those specific experiences for the children so that when they go to school, they'll be ready to um, begin to break the code.